My name is Caitlin Eddles and I'm a freelance photographer in Bend, Oregon. I'm working on a photo project during quarantine. Um, there is a group in Oregon called the Central Oregon Emergency Mass Makers, um, which now has about 2,000 volunteers. Um, they've collaborated with local aviation companies to use their 3D printers um, to help create face shields for hospitals and local healthcare professionals. On top of my project about the mass makers, um, I've been trying to find various ways in which our community is coming together and collaborating during this to support each other and just seeing the outpour of um, offers to help the elderly go grocery shopping, um, bringing them supplies for people who are high risk and can't leave their houses. Um, it's been very encouraging to see all of that, absolutely. Part of this project, I, I recently contacted a woman online um, who was offering uh, emotional support. She's a crisis worker um, and is offering free emotional support calls throughout all of this. Um, and that really brought to light the, the struggle people are having when they can't access their, their normal therapist, maybe they don't have the funding anymore, um, or if they have health care at all. When I first met the admin of this mass makers group, um, he was very enthusiastic, very excited to be pursuing this project, not only to keep him busy, but to support the local hospitals. Um, but by the end of the conversation, he, he was expressing to me um, really how, how kind of messed up it is that it is even up to them to help support the healthcare professionals. This shouldn't be up to local civilians to create these masks. This should be you know, our government's responsibility. Um, so they expressed their frustration in that. Um, but that has not lessened their enthusiasm to help. I know a lot of people are, are becoming increasingly frustrated and scared um, because of their businesses closing and, and lack of work, which I can completely relate to. I'm one of them and I understand. Um, my knee-jerk reaction is that, you know, they are, they are doing this at the end of the day to keep us safe and to, to get this over with faster. You know, the majority of what we see in the news and on the media is a lot of darkness. Um, and I'm, I'm grateful to be living in a town that is so community-centered um, and so supportive. And, and that's what I hope to show the rest of you know, other communities who maybe are struggling to feel that camaraderie and collaboration um, to help inspire them. They, they too can come together um, to help with this crisis. I think it's really important during times like this and in general um, to document uh, how artists are coming together, how community members are coming together but I, I know it's hard.